Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your GFX mentor for another weekly analysis. So I'm going to be giving you what we have done for the past previous week, what we have we were, what we are able to capitalize on. Now we're looking forward on the possibilities of what the market could do moving forward. So right now we're just gonna look on what uh, we have done on the public previous week and we're just gonna continue from there just to see and how the previous week we were able to uh, wait from that. So without wasting your time, let me just get into it and see how can we be able to So let's go. <clears throat> uh, as you can see, uh, let me just do it. Uh, so as you can see this from here, from here, you can see here, we have our high and we have our low. The market gave us this low. We have a high and a low. So the market gave us this low. But because when you look at this structure, you will look at it as a head and shoulder structure. So this could be your head and shoulder. So we're just gonna put it here. So because of this is our head and shoulder. So why would I say this is our head and shoulder? Mm -hmm. The market, we have to see what the market has been given from the previous week. So this is our first touch, the second touch, and the third touch. So we're looking to capitalize on this movement to go to the upside. So we need to just re, re value our re value our structure and try to put it here. So yeah, it still does, does not allow us, you might say yes, we could have capitalized on this, but for me, it's still, I would say it's still under, indecisive. So the only way for me to enter this, I have to just keep on scaling in until, uh, or just do this, just do this, this on this touch and this touch. So this is my sphere. Even if I put this one here, it is much clearer because this now it acts as a breakout, retest, consolidation, and the market continue to the upside. So, so this is a much uh, clearer analysis, or you could just do this for you to have those easy to spot movement. That, do, that one would work for you. So this one works as well. You see this touch and the second touch and this touch after giving us the breakout, the market gave us a jack chip candlestick, a Jackson candlestick to continue to go to the upside. So if you enter here as well, it still uh, be on the safe side. But me, when you entered around that time, when you entered here, I have already entered somewhere here. I have already entered around here. So this will be my other entry to go to the upside or I will enter aggressively because now I have already confirmed here. Now is another confirmation here. So I know the possibility of the market to go to the upside, giving us this um, TPs are possible, but the market did not go there. So what did the market do? The market is dead consolidated here, consolidated here, but let me not do this, let me just, the market just consolidated here, the market consolidated here, after consolidating here, 
this will be your low. This will be your low. As you can see, the market touched this zone uh, slightly went to the downside and going back to the upside to consolidate for some time after consolidating. You when you when you are in industry, you might think the market will just uh continue to the upside. Why? Because the market just came from market out of a structure, went to the upside, gave us another structure. This is like a a, a flag. This is like a flag, a continuation flag. This will be like a continuation flag. But also continuation flag can, can also be rejected. That is why you see this market rejected this consolidation and this flag so to continue to go to the outside so you wait for a breakout so as you can see we have waited for a breakout after a breakout so we have, could have capitalized on this let me see let me just start here we could have capitalized on this move and let me just put my exact percent here and exit here as you can see the market was trickling to the upside then you could could have entered uh, from this rejection from this rejection let's put my 25 percent there and then you put 20 from there wanting to take this zone but because i is not the only strategy this uh, i don't <clears throat> I do not use my, uh, my apologies. I do not use this strategy alone. I use three strategy. Uh, I make them as one. I use three type strategy and I make them as one. So my other strategy based on its analysis, it had a low here. So I know usually what happened on this low. No, because I see a head and shoulder, uh, my other strategy gives me this low. I know the possibility of the market coming here to reach has and going back to the upside based on my uh, other strategy. So I use three strategy. I use this strategy and I use my software and I use my GFX Pro strategy which one is that one is a killer strategy is like this one yes it kills um uh, you may, like it keep you that consistency that one it just even this previous week this previous nfp week like it, it was 95 percent on point it was 95 percent on point this week i killed the market no losses or no huge losses it, it even surprised me I could uh, kill the market in that in this uh, manner. So it just show you we are growing. We are growing. So based because of my structure, I knew we had some sort of these touches here. Uh, let me just try here. Some sort of these touches here. I knew we had these touches here. And we had these touches here. So, but uh, let me just put in this. I knew we had these touches, and I knew this was a. I knew this was a, a falling wedge, some sort of that, like a falling wedge. So the market just starts small, small, and continue to come bigger, bigger. And this will be my last touch here. So as well, I was. I was looking on these touches here. This will be my this will be my low. And there's a when you when you go here, um, uh, hopefully this will work. Um let's see. Let me go to my four hour time frame and show you some. No, it's not my favorite time frame, it's always this one. See, these touches here. First touch, and 
this touch here is this touch. So basically, if you even if you didn't take this structure because it's more complex, you, some other structures are complex, guys. <clears throat> so you have to understand. So this much structure is much here. As you can see, our first touch or second touch, this is a false breakout. This is a false breakout. After the market coming back in this zone, we're just going to continue to go to the outside. So this, which you can see, this is the first, uh, the first trend line, the second trend line, and uh, the third trend line. So which gives you those type of rejection. So when you see this type of formation, or when you see too many rejection in one place, too many, uh, the market um, or your structure or your horizontal uh, trend line, your vertical trend line, or your zones where you see that the, there are multiples, uh, there are multiples, uh, trend lines, uh, vertical lines, whatever. They're showing you this, there might be a possible, possible rejection. You take it, or you just wait for it to see um, a rejection, that stage rejection to continue with it. So even if you wouldn't take this one, the market you could have waited for it to close. This is an thing can just take on a rejection. You just but the stop loss is gonna be huge. The stop loss is gonna be huge. So this type of strategy you, you will need pending orders. So you need pending order to continue to the upside. Because I have a strategy, I usually enter aggressively. I enter, I'm an aggressive trader, I already entered here. I already entered here, then I entered uh, more, I added more here. So what did the market do? The market shot to the upside. We, 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 literally, we literally capitalized on this, um, we literally capitalized on this entry. We literally capitalized on this entry. So, and it is, for me, it's like somewhat from here, from somewhere here, to here, it's like 900 and something points. So we literally took 900 and something points of profit and bagged it. That's how this strategy is. It, it's pretty much simple. It's really pretty much simple. So this year you see is a continuation because of, we're just gonna cancel this one. We're just gonna cancel this one. Let's go cancel these. Let me just cancel this. Let's cancel this. We're just gonna move this. Yeah. As you can see, the market was uh, came to the zone to retest it, went to the downside just a little bit, broke it and came for it for a retest and continued to the upside. So after a retest, you just enter after a retest and continue to go to the upside with it. This is a this is like uh, turning our resistance into a support. The market turn our resistance into a support to continue to go to the upside. That's how uh, uh, easy uh, it is. So, so let me just uh, go to our let me just go to German day team. Most of you might be asking yourself, I only trade these uh, indices. Once you get the strategy or once you, well, if you have a strategy, you're gonna um, practice it, or you're gonna see where it works, uh, where it works consistently. It might work consistently on your um, indices. It might work consistently on your currencies or your pairs. So depending on uh, what type of strategy you use, you just, going to see where it uh, works better or where, where you see it do the most. So, so, you, so you cannot confuse yourself. So you cannot confuse yourself. So let's just do this. So basically from here, we just gonna mark up our high. Let's mark up our high, our high. Let's gonna mark up our low. That I usually do. This is our low. So this is our high, this is our low. So basically, on our high, you can see this is literally a breakout retest. So, as you can see, if you had 
this book out of the structures. Uh, copy it in a page, copy it in a A3, copy it in a A3 or A something. Mm, if you copy it in a A something, this type of movie you will see is a breakout of the test. So after a breakout of the test, you're just going to continue to go to the other side. Maybe this is a simple setup, a basic setup. Just you just, even if the market rejects this setup, is is only by the time the, the strategy is not hundred percent. Yes, the strategy you can get rejection, you can get um you, your analysis can get rejected, but the strategy works ninety percent, eighty to ninety percent it works. So this is one of the uh, most profitable strategies that you can ever use. Plain simple, just easy setup. You just look for your after you just look for your structure. You, this is a structure here. This is a structure. Let me just do this. Yeah, this is the structure. This is our low. The market came and retested this low. After retesting, simple structure after a breakout, the market continue to the upside. Very simple. The very same thing. This is a very same setup. This is all like a double bottom, the double top formation. Even on this double top formation. Even, even on this double top image. Um, let me just do this. Let me just take it from here first. Let's see. So this one is gonna be a little bit complex, but if you put it here, it's gonna be much better. But this one is gonna be a little bit complex. If you use only one strategy, you won't you won't able to use it. You won't be able to use so you have to have multiple strategies that will cater for your movement. So after you see, even if you don't draw that line, you see the market came and after came, coming here, it gave us this rejection can just stick like inside bar and some sort of like a doji, some sort of a doji. So it is a rejection uh, setup. So you, you might see this might be a double top formation. So we're just gonna to continue to go down with it. Like I told you guys, this week, it was a just a profitable week. We just killed the market. Even this structure here, even this structure here. This structure, I just killed it. Uh, I entered somewhere around here. Why did I enter around some, somewhere around here? Uh, base, my first, my first was like, after, yeah, it was like this. So after I break out, you see this something like that uh, retest the market broke. And on my other strategy, uh, the market showed me, showed me this. The market showed me this. So this is a rejection setup. So here is a rejection setup. So if I put another one there, if I put another one here, just to cater. Sometimes you need two just to cater. You need two just to cater. You see, there's a first touch, second touch, a breakout. So here, here our support turned into a resistance. Then the market turned our support into a resistance again. Then after this, the market went to the upside, coming back to test this, this zone for the last time. So you will see, because we have our analysis here, our, our structures here, our first touch, second touch, and the third touch, we're just gonna take these buys. We're just gonna take these buys. We're just gonna take these buys. Continue to go with them to the upside. Continue to go to the upside. That's why we, we kill. So most likely it might be a possibility of here. But there's a first touch and the third touch. There's a first touch, the second touch, and the third touch. So we're just gonna see what the market plays. Uh, how is it gonna play out? This is going to break out, retest, and continue to the upside. Just make, just my, uh, let me just go here. You see, just by doing that, you can already uh, see uh, some sort of a, a, a structure. As you can see, this was our first touch and the third touch. And this is our third touch. Our first touch, the second touch, and the third touch. So the market turned our resistant into a support. So we're just gonna wait on the market to give us better confirmation 
So if it gives us this further confirmation, we're just gonna add more traits. Uh, I can use, we're just gonna add more traits just to capitalize on this movement. As you can see, the possibility of the market going to the upside are still high because of our support, our resistance came into a support now. So I'm just gonna wait for further confirmation then continue to go to the upside with. Or you can just do this and just simply just do this. Uh, after those touches, you can just take other touches here. Uh, let me just take, uh, let me see if I take on this market structure. Based on this market structure, this is a breakout as well. So this is our structure. As you can see, it still can uh, come here. It still can come here, touch and continue to go to the upside. You see, this is a nice setup as well. So this was up, this was up. Uh, let me just see, let me just see. If I could uh, go to Euro USD, Euro USD, let me just check Euro USD. I uh, know. Let me just check Nasdaq. Let me just check. Nasdaq for you. Let me just check Nasdaq for you. Let me see. So we basically capitalize on this movement and we still capitalize on this watcher. Like I told you, I don't use only one strategy, guys. I don't use only one strategy. I use multiple strategies. So let me just do this educate already. So my my anticipation was the market is gonna come here and touch this budget because of resistance tending support tending to resistance. Hey, yeah. Support ten in uh, our resistant ten into a support zone. So I thought the market is gonna come here for this support for from this support and continue to upset. But what did the market do? The market just uh gave us this type of formation. This type of formation, the market formation, and we just took the trade based on this type of formation. So if you just can cater doesn't have to be clear just like i do just like you just have to be you have to understand it the most important thing you have to understand it so this was up this was up that's how we need to capitalize on this movement so so for now the possibility of the market continuing to the upside are still high but at the same time let us just see let us see this um let me just take this take, uh, from, from here, from here, from here, and just uh, take it and touch. And take this setup and see what is going to tell me. What is the market going to tell me? So, as you can see, it's already making it clear. So the possibility of the market just coming, continue to continue to come here. Uh, let me just do this. The market just continue coming here. The market just might go, might come to here, might come here, then come back to the downside. So this is a structure. It's still inside the structure. And it's respecting this price, these touches, the first touch and the second touch, the first touch and the second touch. So the possibility of a third touch here and the market coming to touch for a third touch on the bottom as well. And we will we'll see that which uh, uh, which uh, setup is the market is giving us or which the market direction is giving us. And there are trends inside other trends as well. If the market just come and respect this trend line, we're just gonna cater. We just wanna cater for it and we have to use cater for it. 
the Akita for it. Just to come and respect. So our first touch will be here. Still looking for this touch here. The mud has to come here. So still looking for this zone. Because it only did a breakout retest and continued to the so it hasn't brought came back to give us that huge retest. So the possibility of the market just might give us this structure. So we're just gonna see which market respect, uh, which uh, trend line the market respects so we can just capitalize on it. So yes, I'm your GFX mentor. If you like what you do, like, subscribe and to our channel, uh, click that notification bell. So when we continue dropping videos like this, uh, available content, so you can be the first one to see it and see how you can analyze your week ahead. And hopefully my strategy uh, will help you, my structure strategy, hopefully it will help you because we just, okay, we just, this previous week, we just only on USD to just one, I'm, I'm speaking on just only USD, we just one ninety some nine hundred and something pips on just uh two days and i'm not talking about nasdaq i'm not talking about uh i'm not talking about interest on nasdaq i'm not talking about interest on german beach i'm just talking about increase on usdt and we were able to capitalize on other uh gem on a german data on nas nas on nas as well so the pro we just this week, probably we just run over uh, 2,000 pips, more than 2,000 pips in just one week because we didn't have those met major loss. Out of uh, maybe out of 10, we just won nine. We lost one. And that one we lost, we just, we just closed our analysis too early, but the market continued went to, we just closed too early and then the market continued went to our direction. But we were just a little bit skeptical that the market might change, might change direction, but eventually respected our strategy. That's how you need to, that's why. So for me, I need to trust even more on my strategy. That's what I keep on doing. That's why I keep on back testing my strategy weekly. That's why I give you this weekly analysis so that I can trust it with, without having to be scared, you see, without be able to enter on the market, see a setup, do a, do a setup just like it is, just like my strategy tells me. And if I win, I win. If I take the most type of losses, it will be around those times. That 1% or that 10%, I have to take the, those losses. So we just want to keep on being consistent, consistent because as much as we take those losses. So if you like what I usually drop, uh, like and subscribe and continue uh, giving us those feedbacks to what can we drop in the future. But what can we analyze it in the future? So I'm the GFX mentor signing out.